I used to think that building a tunnel under the sea was easy. Just dig a hole and you're done. But when I saw the construction of the channel tunnel, I realized how wrong I was. This tunnel is 50 kilometers long, with 38 kilometers running beneath the sea. The ground beneath the seabed was not only tough, but dangerously unstable. There were cracks in the rock and empty voids scattered throughout. Engineers chose strong limestone clay for construction and carefully planned the route. The project involved building three tunnels, two for trains and one for emergencies. For the main excavation, a massive tunnel boring machine was used. It had rotating blades at the front and a system in the middle to maintain pressure. As the machine advanced, pre-made segments were installed to reinforce the tunnel. To keep seawater out, engineers used a technique called the slurry shield. A protective layer was created by mixing soil-like materials, preventing water from seeping inside. The entire excavation was done with an accuracy margin of only 2 centimeters. But the challenges didn't end there. Once the tunnel was complete, the speed of trains created intense air pressure and the machinery generated extreme heat. To solve this, special cooling systems were installed to keep the temperature under control, ensuring both safety and efficiency.